Oh, that's great. Thanks, dude. Thanks for that. Put that on the freaking blog. <laughs> no, I don't know how you'd load that in there. I got something for you to load in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Once I get done with your wife, I'll let you load it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Scratch that piece. You might want to edit that out, Steve. Thank you. It's Kent Pinion Day here at The Rock. I am Mr. S. Yeah, you, uh, you want to know why... He's uh, talking, Steve. He's talking, so yeah. put the f camera on him. F you. You know that strained right forearm that Felix had? You know how he got that, right? Your no. wife's gash. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> What? I can't wow. say that. You wow. can say it. He's over there talking about how he's deep six in my wife. Wow. Uh, f you, BJ. Oh, I see the oh. updated gash. He says, oh, look at that. Oh, it's going away, though, huh? Um, so, Nick, uh, you know, he's a good guy. He's been with the show for a while. He started as an intern, then he worked part time, and he does a lot of stuff. He does he he basically over delivers, no doubt about it. Oh, he's the best. Yeah, and he's an assistant to Steve at times. You know, he helps out Steve a lot, helps me out a lot. But the thing that really, I've never said no to Nick before about anything, or I've never sort of had doubts about Nick at all whenever he's asked me things. But he came up to me recently and he said, "You know, BJ, I really have this des this desire to be a voice talent." I want to be the guy that you hear on all the commercials. And when he said that to me, I thought, <laughs> you know, you hate to crush anybody's dream, you know. <laughs> I, but, but you will. But, I mean, you hate to do it, but I really, I thought, wow. You know, it's like, it's like when people go on American Idol, you know what I'm saying, and they think they can sing. Yeah. And so, um, but still, you know, my opinion's not the only one. And even no matter what I think, I think a person should be given a fair shot because you just never know. But you've already got, yeah. like, a, you know, a biased opinion. Can I ask you a question? Why is the guy from the other radio station in our room with our guy talking to him when he should be paying attention to our show? <clears throat> Can I ask you that right now? That's a great question. That guy, by the way, he's didn't he just get a new job with that other radio station? Oh, that guy. You know, well, he's wearing their colors. Yeah, the Rev's an idiot as it is and can't pay attention. <laughs> and so the fact that somebody would come in and bother him is... Oh, no. Rev, what, did he, what does he need, Rev? Does he, is he helping out our show at this point? Or is he trying to get something from for his show, which, you know, at this point, I could give a flying F about any other radio uh, show but my own at this point. It's highly unlikely. What did he want? Well, thanks, BJ. He just wanted to ask me a question, so I answered it, and he moved on. You know what? You tell him. Here's what you tell him, okay? Because that guy used to be our intern, yeah. and frankly, I can't believe anybody would hire that idiot. But, you know, but they, they did. But let me just say this right now. While we're on the air, we don't help any other radio show. Every other radio show in this building is goddamn dead to me. And you know what? The one thing I know about Hair Club is that he will... Sergeant Hair Club. He will agree with me on this. Tell him to stay down there and go twang a banjo and leave us the F alone. Oh, All right? Okay. You're working, Rev. You're do what question did he ask? I gotta know. I have to know what the F he hoping, wanted. I was hoping you'd ask that. I didn't want to. What you know, the? I didn't what, ask seriously. Myself. What did that goddamn bumpkin mother effer want? <laughs> well, thanks, BJ. He wanted to know if my roommate was working today. Oh, what? Uh, this back is to you. He's the oh new. Oh my no. god. He's the new producer for that other show, and he comes down all the way down the hall. To ask you a question that had nothing to do with his job or your job or how to do a great radio show in general on his way. Isn't this his first week at the new gig? Well, thanks, BJ. I believe so. What a dumbass. Back to you. That's why he's not on our show, by the way. Something you know what I done. love about this business, by the way, is nobody ever comes to me and asks me about people. Because if anybody had ever come to me and said, hey, what do you think of that guy for this job? I would have said, are you effing retarded? He's he's the, the worst. <laughs> really? He's that the have, worst. That would have been your recommendation? That would have been my recommendation. And you know Maybe why? that's why people don't come to you for a recommendation. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> probably, that's probably a good one. <laughs> Gee, I should put BJ down on my letter of recommendation. Oh, I know he wouldn't, but why is <laughs> why wouldn't his boss come to me? No, they never ask that question, and then they go hire morons, and then when the person turns out to be goddamn retarded, asking questions about when's your PLP coming to work? Is he working today at his job? And, and, and you know, and, and PLPs are us. No, it's a roommate. I don't think Rev lives with his PLP. 
He's getting like a roommate who's actually wait, wait. another guy that used to live on this show. He's asking about your roommate, the other failed intern on this show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you're right. They both, the two of them. I'm saying. The two of them basically were losers. Oh. And they're not on my show for a reason because they both were losers. Well, maybe they're doing a bit. Back He's to you. Just keeping his head should, down. Should I get out? You think yeah, I should? I know he is. Think I should go down the hall and ask? Yeah. <laughs> what? Just take a yeah. microphone well, down there. Go down the hall and say, "Excuse me." Do you realize your guy's bothering a guy? <laughs> you sound like Columbo again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I know you're in the middle of Kenny Chesney, but let me ask you something. Um, apparently, a guy who doesn't work in radio, who's the roommate of my phone screener, apparently there's a big bit going on. I'm just wondering what it is. Are you going to do like uh, people that used to have jobs in radio, and you're going to call them on the phone and give them prices? What? Do you, why would you want to know the whereabouts of that guy? Can Jesus. I actually get my audio back? I don't think I want a recommendation <laughs> from you anymore. <laughs> wow. Is that Nick doing comedy? So here we are, post show, and um, I really feel like we had a good show today. Hey. I think Double R kind of ruined it, but we're addressing that at tomorrow's meeting anyway. So. You want to see my snake? Yeah. Huh? Oh, Look yeah. at I drew a snake in the break. See? Yeah. There you see go. See the guy on the board? He's oh, got a snake, yeah, man. man. That's wonderful. Ow. Yeah. Hey, thanks for wasting our time there, yeah. buddy. I'm dead. Wow. <laughs> hey, Dan, Dan, Nick. I'm, I'm absolutely it. fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fun today. Yeah. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.